Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 20th, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great evening last night. Uh, yesterday's trading was kind of, uh, well, a little bit frustrating just because there wasn't much to do up until the FOMC. And then after the FOMC, the market just kind of whipped back and forth, ending the day uh, virtually flat from where it had started here on the Dow. And you can see just kind of a resting day um, overall. And then this morning, take a look at what the futures are doing. Futures are looking at breaking all-time highs, are coming very close to all-time highs, looking for that breakout here on the market all at once in the overnight market. Now, I got to tell you, um, it's a little bit frustrating. This is happening so much anymore that they stall the market during the day and the biggest part of the, the move happens overnight. Uh, it's becoming very, very frustrating. And as you can see, all the gaps in the market are making it very, very difficult for um, uh, swing traders to have much edge here in the market because everything seems to be focused in making the big moves occur overnight. Let's hope that settles down here soon. Now, let's take a look at what we have here in this chart. Right now, you can see I have a resistance line marked right here in the chart. Now, that's not the all-time high of the market. You can see, if I were to back this chart up just a little bit, you can see that there was an all-time high back here. So let me throw a line up there and we'll just mark that out real quick. There's uh, pretty much our all time high in the market. And if we go back over here, you can see we're gapping right up into that zone this morning here on the diamonds. Now, I can't tell you if this will end up being, uh, you know, a pop and drop pattern or what. I just, uh, the futures are tremendously excited this morning. First, we have the FOMC talking about a rate cut. Then we have um, maybe some progress or some, some improvement between, uh, or hopefulness, I should say, that there will be some kind of a trade deal, uh, you know, in the near future um, as the president and the Chinese leader um, are starting to move closer together and discuss um, things at the G20 here soon. So um, hopefully we'll, we'll get some movement um, on that trade trade war but right now market just seems extremely happy and wants to rally up strongly now i said yesterday at the close of the day to all the members that it just seemed like uh, un, it would be unreasonable at this point to to not think that we wouldn't reach out for all-time highs i had no idea they would do it overnight all at once so that's what we're doing this morning, really popping up strong. So watch these resistance levels up here. If they do happen to run into, if we see some bearish action up here, watch for that potential of that pop and drop. And that's where we gap up in the morning and then we see sellers the rest of the day. We don't wanna see that happen. We've seen a lot of those recently where we get these gaps and gaps and we hop up and then all we, all we do is run into selling. So. We want to watch out for those kind of patterns, particularly as we press against new market highs. <clears throat> but let's face, face it, the, the market is very, very strong. We're well above our 50-day moving average, which is right around here on the diamonds. So I don't see any risk of that uh, coming into play um, anytime soon. So if we hold this up, um, hold up here, and we break on through, well then, uh, blue sky above. Uh, for the market. <clears throat> I'm not really sure how we justify that considering we still don't have a rate cut and considering that we don't know if we're going to get a trade deal, but that's what's going on here. We're relentlessly moving higher, pushing against um, all odds to break out. So let's watch that pretty closely today and um, who knows, uh, maybe we're just headed for the moon here. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY doing the same thing. Notice that the SPY will be breaking out to new all-time highs this morning on the gap up open. We are setting new records in the market this morning here on the SPY. Blowing through resistance as if it was not even there. So again, once again, as we pop up here this morning, let's be careful. We don't want to chase a gap this big just in case we happen to catch that 
that pop and drop where we've stretched that rubber band just a little bit too far too fast and then the selling comes into play um, so watch that closely we're well above our downtrend here bullish all over the place um, there's just no reason to think that we're about ready to fall um, anytime soon other than the fact that we may be just a little bit stretched in the short term so just keep an eye on that let's take a look at the cues Q's also making a big move today, breaking through a resistance level. And the Q's are going to be unable at the gap to make that new record high. <clears throat> you can see our, our um, all-time highs in the market are right up in here. And we're not gapping up that far this morning. So kind of halfway in between, we're gapping right into this little resistance zone. And Q's have been lagging a little bit behind um, the Spy and the Diamonds, but boy, they're trying to make up for it today with a huge gap up here this morning of almost 95 points. Um, remarkable gap this morning. So let's keep an eye on that. Make sure we don't chase into the pop and drop. By the way, if you're in trades, I, I mean, this is going to be a great day for you, and this may be a great day to be thinking about taking profits as we gap up. We commonly say in hit-run candlesticks and right-way options, gaps are gifts, and when we get a gift like this, such a massive gap up, might be time to start looking for some profits, taking those gains, and stepping away <coughs> from those positions just in case we do see that pullback. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM really going strong this morning, popping up heavily here. And what's interesting about this is we're finally, let's first off, before I get too wound up here, let's notice that we still are in a downtrend on IWM. So don't make the mistake of thinking we have reversed IWM or that everything is copacetic here. It's not. But one thing that will be impressive this morning is that IWM, oops, wrong chart, there we go. Um, IWM um, will be, there we go, gapping above its 250 day uh, moving averages. And we haven't seen that for some time here for IWM being above both of those averages. So pretty interesting how all of a sudden, overnight, we decided to get um, uh, crazy bullish. So everything's looking uh, pretty positive this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX. My guess is the VIX, <clears throat> which showed a, a fear dropping out of the market yesterday, pulling back after a little bit of a you know bump up. We were kind of swinging around here yesterday. But my guess is we're going to see a gap down in the VIX this morning. Pretty heavy move down here. Fear dropping out of the market, dropping back down into these levels. It seems kind of odd to me that we have no fear in the market when we still don't have a trade deal and we still don't have a confirmation of a rate cut. But that's what's happening here. So just kind of keep those things in mind in case um, we get that pop and sellers come in. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I plot that on a line chart. You can see we're right up here at the close of yesterday, right up here at that um, place where we've been failing, where we've been finding those sellers here in the market, dropping lower. But doggone it, this morning we're going to defy all odds. We're going to gap up a whole bunch this morning. My guess is T2122 is going to show us way up in this range um, at the morning gap and um, uh, obviously into that bearish reversal zone. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we immediately see sellers. Remember, we can kind of stay up here for a while. We can bounce around up here. Right now, the the unbelievable bullishness in the market um, on rumor is is has the possibility of holding us up here. So let's watch that closely. But right now, um, we could be reaching that bullish and uh, or excuse me bearish engulfing zone up here um, right at the open this morning. So watch that carefully. <coughs> Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar 
we have a few things on here that could move us around. Oops, sorry about that. A few things that could move us around. We have the jobless claims coming in here at 8.30 a.m. this morning. And we have the Philly Fed business outlook coming in. Both of those items could move the market around a little bit. So we'll want to keep an eye on these two things right at 8.30 a.m. We do have a natural gas report um, later on at uh, 10.30. I would not expect that to move the market at all. And then the Fed balance sheet here at 4.30 that could move the market. But once again, unlikely uh, to do so. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, not a whole lot to really move us around except right there first thing this morning on that economic calendar. On the earnings calendar today, <clears throat> we have over 20 companies reporting earnings. Um, probably the biggest... Um, Probably the biggest notable would maybe be Barnes & Noble that's reporting uh, today. We've got a couple of a couple of other stocks like uh, Kroger reporting today. Not, not the kind of stocks that are really going to move the market, but um, stocks that uh, certainly have some influence over the market. Uh, Red Hat will be, port, re, be reporting today. Uh, JRJC um, reporting today. So... Uh, uh, these so many of these stocks, as you can see, are, are these little teeny tiny um, uh, stocks, and I don't expect them to move the market at all, um, except, for, you know, you just never know. Um, the only reason they're notable is if you happen to be holding them. So um, kind of take that in mind. It uh, doesn't seem to matter because the market has, um, you know, full on bullish thinking in um, in its mind this morning. Um, I don't, I'm not sure anything is going to affect it other than maybe some news. Um, <clears throat> so with that, hey, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I want to say thank you to everyone who does leave those comments. I try to answer as many as I can gotten so busy here just recently that I haven't been able to every day answer, but um, I truly, truly appreciate that. Feel free to leave those questions, comments on the video, and if um, if you feel the video is worth, worthy, then please feel free to share this video with friends, family, Facebook, Twitter, um, any, any place that um, you'd want to put that information out to other folks. So please feel free to do that. And thank you to everyone who does so. Hey, for everyone listening this morning, I had a computer problem. I had a virus software update automatically and it messed up the entire blog this morning. So there will be no blog this morning, but I do have the time to get this video out. <clears throat> so there um, obviously will be... Um, uh, be that to to look at, but I will post it in all the same places that I always post it so everyone will have access to it. Once again, thank you so much to those who um, um, watch these videos. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. You humble me every day with your kind words on these videos. Let's take a look at maybe some stocks that could be setting up for trades and there's quite a few of these stocks and I've been talking about the some of these for a while and um, some of them have made their move yesterday uh, made that really nice breakout yesterday one of those would be shop you guys know that I've been talking about shop and talking about shop well there there it went there's the move Shopify taking off uh, like a rocket and it looks like it's gapping up this morning and looking very, very good. Congrats to those that are in that beautiful, beautiful chart moving to the upside. Take a look at X-Ray. X-Ray making a move yesterday, popping through that resistance, breaking out, starting to show signs that this wants to continue to follow its trend and move on up. You might want to keep put X-Ray on your watch list and think about this for a trade. Remember, Every one of the stocks that I show you are meant for your review and evaluation. There's no recommendation to buy or sell any trade that um, I recommend or show in here. Um, and, and there really aren't, aren't recommendations except for your watch list. Okay, so think about that. Let's take a look at Hershey. Hershey, 
Um, one of those defensive sector stocks, nice, tight consolidation here. Hershey is one of those stocks that could suffer when the market goes up strongly. Hershey is kind of a defensive play. But we not, I love this nice tight consolidation in here as we're moving over toward trend. So keep an eye on Hershey. There may be some opportunity coming in that chart. McDonald's. McDonald's had a really nice recovery yesterday. It started out looking pretty ugly. Really nice recovery. Looks like uh, McDonald's could gap up slightly this morning right into that alert area on the chart. And by the way, anytime you see these pink alerts, they are alerts on the trade or you might see past alerts on these charts but popping right up into that alert area take a look at ttwo ttwo is another one of those that looked like it was gonna fail yesterday had a really nice recovery we'll have to see how this responds this morning but i've got a price alert as you can see here on the chart if we were to break through here holding on to that trend could be an opportunity in the position <clears throat> Take a look at Marvel. Uh, Marvel had a nice break above. You can see my alert right in here. Now, yesterday pulled back a little bit, and it looks like this morning Marvel has that chance of moving on higher. Don't be too surprised if Marvel still needs to rest a little bit, come across over here toward that trend before it goes. But we have a nice pattern here and a good potential trade to be keeping an eye on. So watch that one closely. Take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer, if you guys remember, I've been mentioning Pfizer. There was the price alert on that. Pfizer popping through, moving on up. And what's important about that is Pfizer is breaking through this major resistance area in the chart. If you're not in this trade, I wouldn't worry about that so much. A little bit of rest or pullback could make that next opportunity happen. And it looks like Pfizer could possibly get a little bit of lift here this morning as well. So a little bit of follow through on that chart may be possible, looking pretty good um, overall. Take a look at OLED. OLED, big move yesterday. There was my price alert popping through. Big move yesterday. It's got a little resistance up here to deal with, but OLED moving up and this trend uh, is undeniably strong. So keep an eye on that. Don't be too surprised if this needs to rest once it reaches up uh, these high levels up here but watch that one closely looking pretty darn good mgm i've been talking a little bit about mgm the possibility here of it breaking its downtrend and it broke through actually triggered an alert for me and there's a, a strong price resistance right here through the chart so i haven't made a trade on this position yet but i wanted to be notified if we popped up through there and you can see we got this immediate response back popped up through and pulling back now the big question is will it be able to hold the downtrend and hold price support that's what we'll be watching here and it's a pattern that i like to trade all the time let me draw that out here really quick if i see a stock in a downtrend I am never interested in trading that stock when it's down below that downtrend. I want that stock to prove that it can break through, hold, and then show me signs of that move higher. And why is that? If I'm trying to buy something down here, it really is me trying to predict the bottom. And I don't have to do that. Institutions predict the bottom. Institutions decide when a stock is going to turn around. So what I do is I wait, watch, and when I break the downtrend, and they hold that higher low in here, that's where I get my first evidence of an upside move or an upside trend. And I try to catch these trades right in here and then the follow through as we continue to move on up in that trend so i just try to catch those pullbacks to the trend and it's one of the simplest ways to trade i'm telling you guys this changed my life when i finally got away from that idea of predicting the market or predicting a stock and just started following trends it's the easiest thing I know of to make money in the market, and it just plain works. All right? Um, pay attention to that and see if that'll help you in your trading. Here's another one of those great charts, OKTA, popping the alert yesterday. And you can see how that pattern pays, it, pays off when we just move up and pull back, move up and pull back, move up, consolidate over. 
And so these patterns just continue to repeat over and over. And here's that pattern moving over to the trend and buyers are beginning to step in here, pushing OKTA higher and looking really, really strong in the chart. <clears throat> so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. Thanks you, thank you to you, excuse me, thanks to you who watch these videos, uh, click on those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are the best. I truly appreciate it. And if you're struggling as a trader, I do want to encourage you to stick with it. This is, this is a great business to be in. It's a tough business to be in, but it's a great business to be in once you kind of get through the issues that you need to deal with on patience and discipline and a set of rules to uh, protect yourself from you. Uh, more than the market, protecting yourself from you from those bad habits that can cost you a lot of money. So with that, everyone, have a great day. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.